Hi, it's Mike with UTASC. I'm here again at GoToConf 2014. And well, I'm, this interview is a little different than most of them, where I've talked with people that maybe are in the community that I don't necessarily know. But Ryan Gary here is a friend of mine who's been, uh, we've co-organized user groups together. We've uh, known each other. We've been to each other's houses. And, you know, our kids have played together. Uh, but we met at a conference, much like much like GoToConf. We were at SCNA 2009, uh, Software Craftsmanship North America. Yep. Uh, I can remember it. You were sitting at, at the table, and I walked up to him like, hi, I'm Mike. Where are yeah. you from? Because yeah. I just wanted to engage with somebody. And turned out we live in the same neck of the woods. Yeah, which is fairly uncommon. Yeah. So usually it's yeah. someone who either lives in like the city, which is far from us, or they live in another state. So right, it's like, right. what? You live like 15 minutes from my house? So, But it was just that chance, <laughs> yeah. you know, that – when you open yourself up at a conference, and, and that's kind of what I'm getting at, is when you open yourself up to these opportunities, you never know what's going to come out of them. But at one moment, we didn't know each other, and then now we're you know here years later, having uh, run a user group together and and you know been friends for a while. Uh, so I would normally say thank you for taking the time to speak with me, but I I, I don't have to thank you. <laughs> But, but no, thank you for taking the time to be on the camera, though. Uh, so, Ryan, uh, right now you're the one that's leading up SCMC. SCMC yep. is, a, is a group we started together. Uh, it's soft craftsmanship in McHenry County. Yep. Uh, but for the last uh, like year plus, you've been kind of running it solo. Mm -hmm. uh, how is it, how's it going? I haven't good, good. Um, I'm not completely running it solo. So Mike oh, really? Roselli is helping me as well. Oh, so you brought in more Yeah, people. yeah. I need to bring in more people. Um, <laughs> so user groups are great. It's been going well. Um, what I find is that I will have a, a backlog of like three topics lined up and mm -hmm. then we'll get through that backlog and then I'll have a month where it's like, oh boy, I don't have anything. <laughs> so either yeah, like I need to pull something out and just make something up, which has worked before. Yeah. Uh, you can have really good discussions. And we had one of those back in November and it went really well, mm -hmm. but it's kind of like feast or famine you, and you have to constantly be keeping that backlog going. Yeah. So yeah, help, having, having a, a, a bigger leadership team helps with that problem. Yeah. Cause you can spread yeah. the net a little bit. Wider. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's one of the things is that the SCMC is a far suburban group. It is. Yeah. Yeah. So, we live in the Chicago metropolitan area, metropolitan area, and there's a ton of user groups in downtown Chicago. There are some user groups spread around the suburbs, but Mike and I live pretty far northwest of the city. Yeah, and about there 50, are, 60 miles off yeah, of the city. Yeah, and there were no technical user groups out there, but there are a, a decent amount of developers out there because people move there because it's affordable housing, whatever reason. Right. You know, the whole point for me of the group was really to foster that local development community because I think it so easily gets overshadowed with uh, what's happening in, in downtown Chicago. And it's really about, you know, establishing those relationships between the people in that area. Yeah. So, yeah. There was, uh, I mean, there's Follett that is out that way, yeah, which is yeah. a very large uh, library service, library services company in education and education. Yeah, yeah. And then before there was tickets now, yeah. which is, is, uh, now been consumed by Ticketmaster and moved away, but yep. there's still a lot of developers that live out that way that, mm -hmm. that are, they commute in or they work and then yeah. there's no real community around yeah. technical. Yeah. So originally Mike and I started the group. Mike did the most of the initial setup and it was originally the topic was cloud development, yeah. cloud computing. And yeah. we did that for what, about a year and a half? Yeah. And, and then, then just, we ran out of topics and we're like, <laughs> yeah, let's do something different. And so we kind of had that. that and that was like 2009. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2010 is when we first had our first SCMC meeting. And then yeah. we brought Jim in from, from 8th Light. Yeah, Jim Suchi yeah, from 8th yeah. Light. And um, that was the first time we actually had like a corporate sponsor. So that's when Follett sponsored our location. And that helped out a lot. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, Follett would also sponsor food. 8th Light would sponsor food. Um, you were working at Groupon at the time. They yeah. would sponsor food. So having like the, that corporate support was a really, a really yeah. big help. And the other thing that really increased our attendance at meetings was when we switched to meetup.com. Right. So, yeah. Which was surprising because, you know, we wouldn't expect that that would have that dramatic an impact. It really did. I want to say like a 50% increase. Well, discoverability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and yeah. they do some help with if you're already a member for one group, they send you alerts. They'll like, suggest, yeah. For, for areas, yeah. stuff that might be near you or 
and in your interests. Meetup.com auto nags people to <laughs> come to your user group when it gets closer to the date. So right. I think that's helpful too. Yeah. So. Yeah. So and that actually, uh, even though we didn't have a corporate sponsor for the cloud developers group, yeah. we met at a Panera. We met at a, uh, a the local library bar. Time, yeah. we, but the first, well, the first yeah. meeting was at a library, yeah. but. Uh, you know, and but that was okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, that was that was. We had to power through that. We did. <laughs> you know, yep, it, yep. it wasn't always easy. It was yep. sometimes quite painful, but you know, it, it goes into something that I've been talking about about uh, building community in twenty four months. Uh, and one of those things is it doesn't really matter where you meet, because when you're trying to build a community, it's not necessarily that you're at a a follet or at a group on or at an eighth light. Yeah. It's like you're just somewhere where people can get together and talk shop, talk yeah. about whatever, yeah. talk about whatever is on their mind with, with, with a community and can speak a similar language and feel some empathy towards each other because yeah. we share the common uh, interests and in industry. Uh, but now you're, you're kind of expanding and you're doing another new informal meetup. Yeah. So you're you've got the bug uh, for, yes. for organizing. What is this uh, little you've been doing a coffee yes. kind of like a, a coffee shop. Code and coffee kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. So I let me tell you the history of that. Um, so I started working from home about three years ago, mm -hmm. uh, full time. And I was working with people also like in, in our area. Right. And we would all just get together to work at, at coffee shops. And since then, like that group that I was working with has spread apart and, you know, we're working for different companies, but it's still really nice to get to that group together still to this day and like hang out at a coffee shop, see how we're doing, you know, even, even like we'll collaborate on, on technology things. Right. So, um, so yeah, I, I have become the social director of the <laughs> the uh, informal McHenry County meetup at a coffee shop group. Uh, <laughs> that, so. that, that's really a great, great acronym. You know, so, I, just a bunch of letters just throw it in. <laughs> I probably should formalize it and even even put it on meetup.com, but that's kind of what, right. what I've done so far. But, it, yeah. but it, it goes to show like how you can do community in, in a variety of ways. Yeah, yeah. And it, and and even can just foster those relationships that we have at work. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Right. And I, I think a lot of motivation for me behind the coffee shop stuff is I actually heard on a podcast like five years ago that there was this small city like 100 miles outside of Paris. And a lot of people worked from home and worked from whatever their company was in a major European city. But they had this co-working space where they would get together for half the day just so they had that camaraderie. Right. So that's, you know living in McHenry County, you either have an extreme commute or you work locally or you work from home. So like having that, that, uh, attachment to the communities is really helpful. Right. So, all right, well, Ryan, uh, I'll <laughs> see you in a few minutes, right. but, uh, thanks for yeah. taking the time to chat on camera. Yeah. It's been too long. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Bye. User groups with lots to say, interviews and more. No way. Sharing great ideas in the tech community. Fascinating conversations, a plethora of information. Find out for yourself today at ugtastic.com.